The streets of South Norwalk come to life today. Dozens of artists, performers, and local businesses celebrating the Sono Arts Festival, a taste of what was missing last year when it was canceled. News 12's Shosh Bedrosian has the story. So we've had a year to make some beautiful art to share with people. After a year off, the Sono Arts Festival is back. This year is going to be the happiest year ever. It feels like uh, real life is shifting back to normal a little bit. And this weekend, the streets are packed, lively, and colorful. Part of the process of making art is actually interacting with your patron or the viewer and having a dialogue about what that piece meant, what the creation process was like. As the streets echo from the entertainment, the festival has something for everyone, run out, come back. including families, and from seeing art to creating it. I did not think they would actually let someone paint a car. There's been a steady flow of traffic at this year's Sono Arts Festival, and the streets are lined with tents from over 85 different artists here. Some of them are even local to Norwalk. Oh, I love coming back to Norwalk, showing my work. Feels great to be here. From jewelry to photography to paintings, the festival has art in all mediums, and organizers hope getting back art onto the streets will benefit everyone. The virtual art doesn't compare to being here to meet the artist in person and to see a, a beautiful piece that you can ha hold and touch and walk away with. In Norwalk, Shosh Bedrosian, News 12, Connecticut. Last